Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad you came back after that disastrous last episode where I was in a horrible, horrible mood, both in present time video and in the 2017 video to which I was reacting. So thank you for coming back. I'm in a much better mood. Um, I'm trying a different spot in my Airbnb. Hopefully the background isn't too messy. Actually, I can see that there's a pan over there. It's either a white wall or a messy background because the studio Airbnb is super tiny and uh, like this is the bed, this is the kitchen, like that's how tiny it is. Love it, but it's tiny and uh, why am I here? If you don't know already, here we go for the story time. The super short condensed version is I was supposed to move to Japan in April of 2020. The borders have been closed since then with no news, no communication of reopening so i have just been waiting for 18 months moving around from my apartment to my parents place and now to an airbnb and who knows where i'm going to be next maybe i will buy a car and live in there who friggin knows at this point so uh, yeah but i'm not gonna rant about it today today is no ranting allowed whatsoever because we're gonna watch a super fun episode well i'm gonna watch it and react to it and try and tell you what i remember from that day and episode is where did it go <laughs> solo trip to japan nara dear ate my map and bit my bum again no spoilers there like it's directly in the title like the main thing that happened in the episode so going to Nara, Nara. Uh, if you don't know Nara, it's a small city, town, town, maybe town is more accurate, close to Osaka and Kyoto that is known for its temples, but also for its deer that are just roaming around the town and tourists are allowed to feed them. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but you can buy deer crackers, deer senbei, and feed the deer. The deer are kind of friendly, but they are still wild animals, as you can see from <laughs> this title. Okay, I hope you're ready. I'm ready. Um, I remember my day in Nara relatively well, I think, and I had a pretty good time there. I mean, obviously, it had been so rainy and so gray that, like, the day after the typhoon, it was just like... Yes! <laughs> Finally! Um, I don't remember if I mentioned the transportation. I don't remember how to go to Nara from Osaka. Do I have to go to Kyoto and then to Nara? I don't remember. I don't even remember if I got lost, but it's safe to assume that I probably did. <laughs> uh, but we will see if we get that explanation. Everybody, I'm in Nara today and I'm wearing the hat I bought yesterday. I wasn't expect to wear it until winter, but it's super windy today. But, 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 but. the debut of my little hat, which is so distended. Look, you can kind of see the aftermath. Yeah. Here. Oh my god, I can see deer already. I can see deer. Deer. Oh my god. Deer. <laughs> I haven't changed. I'm, I'm saying deer at the deer. Deer, deer. Okay, it begins. <laughs> I'm gonna go find some deer food. I'm gonna do something pretty dangerous, probably. What is it? And I'm gonna lift my put my camera down for a minute oh. and call the deer to me. A little Why deserted would I go spot to here. Deserted spot so, with deer. All by myself. See the deer? They're bowing. They're pretty like, mm, like they've clearly had some stuff to eat. I mean, they've clearly been fed. <laughs> I think that's the one who bit my butt, maybe? I don't know. Like I'm turning, ah! No, it just tore at my jumper. And the sound is added. <laughs> Guys, these deers are just as vicious, well not vicious, but as <laughs> spoiled as they said. Spoiled. Look, he, they ate my, he ate my map. Ugh. 
Nara is filled with temples and pretty nice ones too. Look at that nice sky clearing up. So, <laughs> I'm wondering if I should go around or go through. That's why I remember it. That's why I remember this garden is for that segment because clearly it's been raining a lot and the stepping stones are a little <laughs> submerged and slippery looking. Look at the hungry little fish. <laughs> Cheeky deers. Cheeky chika. I think it's chika. Cheeky chika. But yeah, like I said, I have very fond memories of Nara and the atmosphere. I'm not sure if I would have enjoyed it if it was under the rain. Maybe I would have gotten the same vibe as with Kyoto. Like the crowds and the rain and the umbrellas and ah, oh my god. Uh, but one, this is a weekday, I think. Two, it's not raining. It's, uh, it's also after a typhoon. So, I mean... There are so many factors that can change an experience so either Nara is just a really nice place in general which I'm sure it is but maybe I also got very lucky with the kind of experience that I had that it was after the typhoon and it was clearing up and less people etc etc I think Todaiji is the temple uh, where there's the thing, the crawl space where children crawl through to like for good luck for just good blessings or for good growth, you know, like things like that. It was a whole line of children. What did make me curious to know whether I'd be able to fit into that crawl space, but it's not like I'm gonna do it in front of a crowd of, pe of people, teachers, and children. <laughs> so I don't That's know what face. this means exactly, but I know that if you can make your way through the pillar, I'm sure I could crawl. So it's something. Right? <laughs> Actually, it, it's really small. I don't know. <laughs> if there was no one around, maybe I'd try, but then again, if there's no one around, no one around and then I get stuck, I'd be stuck <laughs> with no one around. It is right what I'm saying here that you do need sometimes like intense rain to appreciate the nice weather afterwards and appreciate the sun just had a bit of deer cracker not bad <laughs> i'm sure i could eat it if i was starving i knew i tried it would you try deer, deer senbei if you could or was like no you're, you're crazy no way i feel like everyone would try it i mean it's just food for herbivores so Probably a little stale. Mm. It's pretty much just wafer. It's so fluff and pretty. Ah, this is the episode I needed today. It's just fluffing gorgeous. That's what I've been watching. Was delicious. It was all like. Mm, it was so good. It was my first time having kinako powder as well. I think it is it torrified soy bean, something like that. Um, ask the person who served it what it was called exactly, just so I could remember. And um, what I mochi. I remember his voice so distinctly for some reason in my head. <laughs> it's super subtle, but it's fresh. It tastes cold and fresh and the powder gives it really cool texture so it was a lunch but it was good and I went, I've been wanting to try it out for a while and yeah I actually really enjoyed that so would recommend so far I'm loving Nara so much I'm not sure I would appreciate it as much if it were raining the way it rained in, um, in Kyoto when I visited visited it <laughs> but uh, it's beautiful-ish weather like I said a we're having the same thoughts it's so funny but yeah Na Nara was chef's kiss Nara was everything one of my favorite days so for sure
gonna, ooh, oh my god. I'm gonna give the data last of my crackers. At this point. Because I think I'm done with my little toy here. Bit my butt. And it hurts. <laughs> it was a pretty painful pinch too. It wasn't like, hey, give me, give me food. It was like, you bitch. <laughs> Don't feed me now, I will tatakao you. I gave him all my crackers and one of them bit my butt. <laughs> I don't even think I got that on camera. So that is the episode on Nara. Um, I don't think I need to add anything more like the number of times that I've said in the video and myself present time like oh it's so gorgeous i love nara it's like a special atmosphere there's something there maybe japanese people will tell me like oh nara is so like it's a tourist destination and it's catered to tourists but it definitely has a different feel from kyoto where it, you can kind of sense that it's more catered to tourism whereas nara if, if it has been catered to tourism you don't feel it as much it's still very peaceful and like it's so beautiful it's just it's completely out of this world that's the only way i can put it if you have gone to nara uh back me up on this did you have the same experience was it completely different maybe like I, like i said previously i was super lucky on that day that i had like the nice weather and not that many people and etc etc maybe if you visit nara on a rainy day where it's a weekend and it's completely packed it's awful who knows but in my case it was just like it was so good i hope you enjoyed this episode as, as much as i did um i know i just repeated like oh it's so beautiful like tens of dozens of times but i really do recommend seeing nada i think if anyone asked me what my recommendations would be it would nada would definitely be one of them um i have more but since i'm not there yet in these episodes i will just stick to nada for now i hope you guys are good i'm not gonna go on much longer i feel like everything that i needed to say has been said or has been seen in this episode i just hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and that compared to the other video from last week maybe this one put a smile on your face so again i hope you're good i'll world you all and i'll see you in the next one i my screen just shut off so i don't know what it is uh so it's a surprise yeah i'll world you all see you in the next one educationist.tourism.com <laughs> <laughs>